Hello. In this next part of the tutorial dealing with anonymous functions and curve fitting, I wanted to introduce the idea of curve fitting. Consider the polynomial function given here. For fitting such functions when n is an integer, we will we can use polyfit. Okay. In 305 and maybe later on, later on in this course, we will consider more the theory of how these uh, how this fit is done. But for now, just notice that if a function is represented as a polynomial, you will use polyfit to fit the functions. But let's say the if the function is of a form which, which is nonlinear and not expressible as a polynomial, for example, if it is f equals alpha x to the power beta plus some constant, where beta need not be an integer, or for example, alpha sine x b, x beta plus gamma, these are all examples of polynomial functions, or, um, sorry, nonlinear functions. And to fit the coefficients alpha, beta, gamma, and so on in these functions, we will use linear least squares. Okay. So now let's consider fitting such, uh, sit, fitting these functions using MATLAB. Okay. So what I am going to do is define define I have defined a function here I have defined an anonymous function here it's of the general form alpha or a some constant x some constant times x raised to the power some other constant okay so let me define a range let me make up a data set okay my data set is the following 1 to 10 okay and my y data is let's say x data raised to the power of 1.9 okay some some fractional number plus some random number okay one two three plus some random component okay we can plot this data and see how it looks okay, as you can see it's going to be some scattered value it's maybe the random number is not as strong with some 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 curve that you see here okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try I'm going to pretend that I don't know the constant the constant here was 1 and an exponent of 1.9 but I'm going to fit this fit this data set x data y data to my function here okay so the way I'm going to do this I'm going to back out the constants in some constant vector f of x lsq curve fit okay my function and here again matlab is very helpful it tells us about it tells us what we need to do x naught x naught is essentially the trial values that you need to provide for the linear least squares procedure to to get started okay again we will talk about the theory behind linear least squares later on but let me let me say that my guess for the constants is one and one okay and then what i give is my x data and my y data okay and my, here uh, it took some iterations and matlab converged look at what it did it found the first term constant one okay as 1.0774 and the second constant that is constant constant 2 as 1.8717 which is very close to actually the original the value that we made with made the data with which is 1.9 let's now plot this function and see how it looks so we'll do hold on to preserve the experimental so-called experimental data and then what i am going to do and I'm just going to use f plot, okay, and at x, the function, the constant value, and the range, uh, and sorry, the the, the domain uh, domain of the data. And I'm going to plot it with maybe a blue colored line. Yeah. 
no mistake. Mr. Parenthesis here. There you go. By the way, notice that here I'm passing the constants as f of x, sorry, fx, which is this vector, rather than as constants, where it's understood that fx, when the function, when the anonymous function handle gets fx, since fx goes into this point, the, the values of constants one and constants two are taken from this vector, okay? So that's the basic idea of doing curve fitting and we will learn more about the theory behind it later on and uh, By the way, this is all you need to solve the problems in the assignment. Thank you